In the heart of a tranquil village nestled within the serene valleys of the Himalayas, there lived a wise old monk named Master Chang. Renowned for his profound wisdom and unwavering serenity, Master Chang was sought after by people from far and wide for guidance and enlightenment. One day, as the sun began its ascent over the snow-capped peaks, a young disciple named Li approached Master Chang with a request. Master, Li said, bowing respectfully, I seek your counsel on how to navigate through the complexities of life. Master Chang nodded, acknowledging Li's request. Come, sit, he said, gesturing towards a worn-out mat beneath a blossoming cherry tree. Li settled down beside his master, eager to absorb the wisdom that would unfold. Master Chang paused for a moment, his gaze wandering across the picturesque landscape before him. Then, with a gentle smile, he began to speak. Li, life is a journey filled with twists and turns, and along the way you will encounter many souls, some who will uplift you and others who may lead you astray. Today, I shall impart upon you a tale, a Zen story, that will illuminate the ten types of people you should avoid in your journey through life. Li listened intently as Master Chang began his tale. In a distant land, there once lived a traveler named Kai. As he journeyed through the vast expanse of the countryside, he encountered people of all walks of life. Some brought him joy and companionship, while others left him weary and drained. The first person to avoid Kai discovered was the gossiper. This individual reveled in spreading rumors and stirring up trouble, poisoning the minds of all who would listen. By avoiding the gossiper, Kai preserved his peace of mind and avoided unnecessary conflict. The second person to avoid was the arrogant one, this individual was blinded by pride and ego, believing themselves to be superior to all others. By steering clear of the arrogant one, Kai spared himself from their toxic energy and maintained his humility. The third person to avoid was the victim. This individual wallowed in self-pity and refused to take responsibility for their own actions. By distancing himself from the victim, Kai was able to focus on his own growth and development without being dragged down by their negativity. The fourth person to avoid was the manipulator. This individual used cunning and deceit to control others for their own gain. By refusing to be manipulated, Kai guarded his integrity and remained true to his principles. The fifth person to avoid was the envious one. This individual harbored jealousy towards those who achieved success and happiness. By surrounding himself with those who celebrated his victories, Kai shielded himself from the toxic influence of envy. The sixth person to avoid was the complainer. This individual was never satisfied and constantly found fault in everything around them. By cultivating an attitude of gratitude, Kai embraced the beauty of life and avoided being dragged down by negativity. The seventh person to avoid was the doubter. This individual doubted themselves and others, spreading seeds of uncertainty wherever they went. By trusting in his own intuition and surrounding himself with those who believed in him, Kai overcame doubt and forged ahead on his journey. The eighth person to avoid was the pessimist. This individual saw only the darkness in the world, refusing to acknowledge the light. By embracing optimism and cultivating a positive outlook, Kai found hope, even in the bleakest of circumstances. The ninth person to avoid was the taker. This individual was selfish and greedy, always seeking to take without giving in return. By surrounding himself with givers and practicing the art of generosity, Kai experienced the true joy of giving and receiving in equal measure. And finally, the tenth person to avoid was the faker. This individual wore a mask of deceit, pretending to be someone they were not. By embracing authenticity and surrounding himself with those who accepted him for who he truly was, Kai lived a life of genuine connection and fulfillment. As Master Chang concluded his tale, Li sat in silent contemplation, absorbing the profound wisdom that had been shared. With a deep sense of gratitude, he bowed to his master, knowing that the lessons he had learned would guide him on his journey through life. And so, as the cherry blossoms danced in the gentle breeze and the sun dipped below the horizon, Li departed from Master Chang's humble abode, his heart filled with clarity and purpose ready to navigate the complexities of life with wisdom and discernment. And so, please subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video.